Hello everyone and welcome back to another video for Destiny 2 Season of the Dawn. Today we'll be covering the weekly reset guide for March 10th, 2020. There is a lot to cover in this weekly reset, so be aware that we aren't going to delve into any of the quests before just because, you know, we just started the weekly reset. So as usual, this week it is the start of the new season, so make sure you check out everything that is to come. So you need to speak with Tess Everest in the tower, Trials is returned, so speak to Saint-14 in the tower hangar, and then Raising Our Defenses, speak to Commander Zavala. As usual, with all the vendors, you need to complete eight bounties to get rewards, and then do weekly clan engrams, and make sure you go grab your clan banner today as well. Of course, Saint-14 is still in the hangar, so make sure you go talk to him to grab some stuff because he's probably going to be the Brother Vance of D2 in terms of getting uh, Trials bounties. For this week, it's a, it's going to be a little bare bones as it's the weekly reset and a lot of the guys is, aren't out yet, but be aware, I'm still going to show you guys the meat and potatoes of today. We have the Flashpoint this week is going to be IO, so talk to Asher and complete activities on IO for some powerful gear. As for the night, Nightfall and Strikes this week, for today, it's Arc Singe, Blackout, and Grenadier. Today's Strike is in the Arcadian Valley, so if you're looking to do the good old Insight Terminus, make sure you go do that. For this week, for the Nightfalls, the Pyramidian will reward you a Sniper. Will of the Thousands will reward you a Zol Transmat effect that is super rare to get, and I have done this like 10,000 times and never gotten it. And Broodhold, which will give you nothing because they refuse to put strike-specific loot in this strike. So make sure you guys go and do that. Of course, the Sundial is gone on Mercury, so no Sundial and no Osiris. This week in Gambit, it will be the Shade of Oryx. So he will drop everything but the last man standing. So make sure you go battle him. For Crucible this week, it's going to be, like I said, very bare bones. It's Clash, and then Showdown, and then, you know, Elimination, Survival, Classic Mix, Control, and Rumble. Of course, the rank did reset this week, so make sure you guys go do all those lovely, lovely things. For the Moon this week, we have a good old Nightmare Hunt Isolation for Tanix the Scarred. Zydron the Gate Lord and Skolas the Kell of Kells. Make sure you do the weekly bounties from Eris and defeat Nightmares in Soros Harbor as well. The Pit of Heresy is still here, of course, it will always be here, and will reward you Pinnacle Gear, so make sure you go and grab that. Beyond is the campaign mission this week, so what secrets lie in the pyramid. Basically, it's the last mission of Shadow Keep, so if you want to go do that for some nice salty gear, salty gear, Jesus, that sounded wrong. Um, go ahead and do that. The Pyramid, not Pyramidian, Jesus. On the Dreaming City this week, it is the first wave of the curse, so the curse is at its lowest peak today. So make sure you guys go and grab that. The Shattered Throne, of course, is still there. Mars, you know, like I said, guys, a lot of this stuff will be bare bones, but it's just an overview of what's new. Of course, the Seasons Pass is here, so make sure you go and grab that if you want to participate in this season. And before we leave, let's go ahead and look at the store. We are not going to get that engram from tests just yet mainly because we're going to look at everything that's in the store jesus can i not stutter this is trials is the new finisher so it's literally just sending them into an altered dimension so you know this is sparta style we have the waking nightmare ship as darkness approaches my visions grow clearer that's actually a really nice ship and i can't wait for it to be available to buy for bright dust we also have the Matching Sparrow, the Nightmare Stalker. You can choose to flee in terror from your trauma, or you can race towards it, confronting it head-on, which is something that Eris kind of did. Very Taken Kingy, mixed with Shadow Keep. We then have the Eye of Osiris Weapon Ornament, so if you don't have that, you can pick that up for some silver. We have the Worst Sad Arrival for the Transman Effect, which is pretty cool. And then we have the Seraph Shell Exotic Ghost Shell for ghosts who drift like feathers on the wind. Very interesting. Down here in our good old Bright Dust category, we have the Doubt Weapon Ornament for the Trust. So if you haven't had that, it's very gambity, so make sure you go pick that up. We have the Simulation Shell, which we have gotten multiple, numerous times in the Season of Dawn. We then have Keep It Clean, which actually was last week's was as well. So it's just picking up trash, and we're not really going to go too much into that. We are actually going to look at the seasonal offerings, just because with the seasonal uh, offerings, there are new stuff every single you know season. So we're going to look at those just briefly. So we have the Energy Overload Finisher, which is 
you know, reminds me of a Warlock. We then have the Gladiator's Blade Rush finisher. And then finally we have the I Am The Boss Now finisher as well. They're alright. We then have the Lux Hunter bundle. So this is actually the cool bun bun uh, Hunter bundle that was uh, featured on Destiny 2's or Bungie's uh, official page. And, you know, the Titan got roasted because of how bad it looked. And I, I'll be honest, it looked pretty bad if I do say so myself. We then have the Crackling Flourish Hunter finisher, which is new, which is very Arc Stridery. We then have the Nano Redux Rain Flux Exotic Ornament, which is bringing back the SIVA look. I kind of like it. You know, it'd be nice if we could get some more SIVA gear in this. We then have the Burning Red Weapon Ornament for the Devil's Ruin. So it literally just gives it a nice Red War finish. And, of course, we have all these new, new ornaments. For the Timeline Zero, we have for the Warline Zero. Again, looks war mindy. The Standard Bearer for the Suros Regime. The Splice of Life Shotgun Lord of Wolves ornament, which they're bringing back a lot of SIVA stuff. I really do like that. I appreciate that. We then have the Point of the Stag Combat Bow for Point of the Stag, Lord of the Hunt. Uh, last Perditions, the only the pen Penitent Pass. The Big Red Button Emote. That's kind of adorable. It's kind of just our guy going back and forth. The Patty Cake Multiplayer Emote, which I really like. I, I, I'm, I'm a child, though. The Infinity Cubes. Which is actually what Osiris was playing with last season. We then have the prized ivory weapon ornament for the uh, Ostringer from Opulence, Season of Opulence, and then the Necrosis for the Recluse. I like that ornament way better than the one from last season. We have the Masterful Flow Emote, so it's a new dance. The Dawn Shade, so Future So Bright, I believe that's the Bungie Creative Developers uh, glasses, which is kind of cool. The Up High Down Low Multiplayer Emote. The Shoulder Hug. The Whisper Sweet Nothings. Alright, let's go. And then the Hand Cannon Vogue. And of course we have the Warsat Arrival, which we looked at. The Cabal Cable. Cabal Entrance. The Siva Emergence, which is dope as shit and that will cover it for every single new thing in this season i know i kind of glossed over it guys it's just kind of to show you briefly on what's here so for the bright dust this week we have the playground ride emote which was available last season in season of the dawn we have the blade wipe which is literally just hawkeye from endgame the ash angel the prod all of this is previously. I believe it was all last week's as well. The Phalanx Shell. The Shifting Loyalties for the Dustrock Blues. The Red Legion Projection for the Ghost. The Box of Tricks, Transmat Effect. The Welded Brass Shader. And then, as usual, we have the Gleaming Boon of the Crucible, Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, and Concentrated Matter Gem. So, bosses have a chance to drop upgraded modules on Defeated. We also have these two new ones. A Shard with the ability to generate Glimmer during combat, and Scavenger's Boon. Combatants defeated with Precision and Final Blows have a chance to drop Planetary Materials. These are brand new, so those are really interesting. And thank God Bungie finally put in some new materials. I, of course, won't use them because my Bright Dust is sacred. Of course, with each vendor this week, they have brand new weapons as well. We are going to go into collections for this season and briefly look at what is available. If you don't want to look at that, of course, feel free to skip over this part and skip right to the end of the video. But we're going to be looking at it anyways. So this is all the trials stuff. Of course, we have all the oldie trials gear with, you know, a few revamps on some weapons and a few new weapons, such as the Summoner here, which is literally just an inaugural passing, I believe, from previous uh, D1 Trials. 
Sacred Duty, Garden of Salvation, Last Wish, Playing for Keep, Season of Dawn, Trial of Osiris, Veteran Disciple. Weird. Doesn't seem to be a collection. Okay. Um, of course, this is the unknown exotic that will be available. And then Hunter Armor, this, this uh, reset, we have the Raju's Harness. So the exotic perk is Mobius Conduit. While your Whirlwind Guard is activated, Guardian consumes less super energy, and you can press L1 and R1 to deactivate Whirlwind Guard early and save super energy. That's a really nice looking exotic. For the Titan, we have Saiten's Ramparts. So you and your allies can shoot through your Towering Barricade, which has reduced health and duration. Wow. That'll be really good for Trials for the Titans. And finally, we have Felwinter's Helm. Nice. Arc, Solar, and Void melee kills create a burst of energy that weaken nearby enemies. Finishers and kills against more powerful enemies increase the radius of the burst and the length of the weakening effect. Very interesting perk. Warlord's End. Have to test that to see what it's like. And of course, Tommy's Matchbook. But that's been the weekly reset for March 10th, 2020. So do me a favor, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification box. I'm posting daily destiny content for Season of the Worthy and everything else in between. Comment down below if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form. And as always, guys, have a great day and peace out. You know